first let's go to miximbo.com and if you don't have a 3D model already you can go to Sketchfab and download one ideally it's one in uh, T-Pose so first you click here upload character I would suggest you go for the OBJ format because OBJ makes sure uh, the model doesn't have any armature or skeleton included or anything else it's just a clean 3D format while the FPX can include animations and so on so FPX is the format that will be exporting at the end please don't judge me on this character I just made it in five minutes it's just two so here you clearly see it's a T-pose uh, this is flipped incorrectly so now this is the front and you click next and you place these on their respectable sections and mix and mo will do its magic and auto rig your character this is obviously something you can do in blender as well but this is just way more faster so here we go this mean, means that it worked let's go to next next here we are so let's find some animations let's uh, choose two animations just for the sake of the tutorial um, I already searched for die maybe you need a die animation so let's just take this one you have loads of options you can trim the length of the animation the reaction the arms etc but for now let's just download so let's find another one let's have a walk animation so also what's good to know if you want to by code or by twin animations you want to move him or this creature along um, and don't want to have the animation move you can choose to walk in place which is nice um, otherwise it gets a bit tricky to deal with you see here then it kind of just loops back and forth so I usually just use in place so let's click download now we need to jump into blender uh, we can delete the light or the camera and the light delete the cube so what's cool about Mixamo is that it has a blender plugin so you can click on N and mine is down here because I have it installed but if you don't have it installed yet I will post a link in the description and you go there you download the zip file then you go to preferences you have add-ons you click install you select the the zip file uh, I should be able to find mine here yep cool so let's import uh, the FPX file and it's called walking cool so my model is a little bit small and again don't judge me on on the modeling itself it took only a few minutes uh, but also this is not the important part you can pull this the section up here press space to play the animation okay it works it's great um, what we want to do next is create a control rig this is the rig that kind of you apply the animations to and yep now let's import the second animation this one cool so click on the move tool move your second animation here press space 
you can see both of the animation works but they're on two different rigs or armatures so what we want to start to do is to select the mesh only it's important that you haven't selected the the armature as well so and then press delete and now you can use this um, inspection tool and select the, the armature and you select the control rig and you click apply animation perfect so now uh, let's go to the animation tab and you can also put this one up here cool so instead of being in the dope sheet you go to the action editor um, basically you have the animations here um, again you again you press space and you can play your animations cool so what's important here is that you want to create a fake user to save this data block otherwise it will not remember these animations let's now try to okay let's rename this i think this is the dying animation dying yep let's find the second one this is the walking animation as you can see here all of these yellow points are basically keyframes again let's rename this to walk let's fake a user and now you will see both of our animations down here cool so if we export this right now it will only have the walk animation and we don't want that so down here in the second window let's click on the editor type and let's go to non-linear animation and cool so we what we want to do now is to go back to layout delete the armature that we don't need anymore and now you see we only have one armature so we want to push down animation select the control rig again we go to I think that was walk let's now have dying and we want to push it down so now we have both animation here now we can export the object with the animation let's call it multiple animations rock monster and let's just export the downloads cool now we go into Lens Studio and we press import go to downloads there we go import all right so yeah obviously it doesn't have the texture and the material so what who cares um, anyway you see see that it has all the animations you want so now we can switch between them and i'll show you in another tutorial how to switch between these two animations through code
that's where things will get fun but for now let's just scale this up uh, let's scale it uniformly to fifth. ah so we haven't selected the right item thing just 50 very big feller let's change this to interactive and alignment let's go to the camera component add a device tracking component uh, and let's try to move this guy down cool let's just there's well, a lot of things that are running cool there you go and boom die walk and if your model also looks like this pink and black you can just add a symbol PBR oh. you go to the mesh I think it's the cube let's see here yeah we go to the cube which is the mesh here we go we choose the material and boom and in symbol PBR if you have real textures you just select this and find your textures and you can see here yep follow me for more tutorials and again in part 2 of this I will show you how to switch between the animations through code have a good one